So, uh, ask you guys to keep me on track. This is the sewing machine that I got. It was in a box full of parts. And I've got all the parts laid out here. And, and um, I don't have any documentation at this point on uh, you know <laughs> how this goes together what I have as you see here in the back I have a picture on my iPad of a completed sewing machine that's this exact same model and um, what I'm trying to do is to kind of use it uh, there's not too many big parts um, most of the bolts and pieces that I have down here are you know pretty straightforward I, I think I'm gonna be okay when I get to the needle piece where the needles at that's where I'm uh, that movement and this whole mechanism is going to be a little tricky for me right now so I've found a few of the parts what I've been doing is I've been cleaning them all I'm not bringing this back to brand new the brand new you know look or anything so I'm taking a little bit of car wax uh, I use this for radios and other things uh, I use this for cleaning metal parts sometimes but these this is um <clears throat> has been um uh, these are painted parts uh they're actually powder coated um parts and i'm just taking and i'm putting a little wax on there it takes off the grime gives it a bit of a little shine um also to it as i as i work the parts gives a little shiny maybe a little bit not too too much um, it does these pieces do have some wear they have some cor corrosion actually not very much corrosion there's because the users of this in the day would oil it fairly heavily um, oil was everywhere oil got on all the different parts outside and inside and a, and a grease they actually used kind of a heavy grease on some some places and it looks like what it did is uh, it kind of coated coated the outer side of the only problem with that is that oil and grease uh, collects dirt and dust and over the years and hundreds of years or hundred years as this case may be um, it's picked up a lot of stuff so it's just basically cleaning it off some of it's on pretty good so um, but there is some corrosion then with all that dust then it then it gathers um, moisture and sometimes then that's where you run into having some corrosion but um, most of the, uh, all of the gears and everything that seem to be pretty clean, it's a pretty clean you know, little machine. What I'm doing now is <clears throat> I'll take, um, I'm taking these, uh, I take some of this grease. It's a, it's a light grease. I use it, use it in the clock world. Uh, put my finger in there, get just a tad on my finger and then just rub it on the inside of these. This part is a, is a piece that's going to go on a, like a camshaft type piece down here now there are holes in there for oil so you can place oil in there I'm going to use this grease it's real light uh, real light machine grease and um, I'll put that so I got this part I put a little bit of that also on the, the big bolts parts so it makes it easier to go in so I've got this piece on which is a moving piece now I may be taking this back apart because um, I'm going to find out that I'm probably going to need to put another piece in here this is a pretty easy piece to take off. Um, this one, I believe, is going to go here. I've got that kind of figured out. And uh, has, a, has a screw, flat screw, straight screw on the end. And let me get that lined up. This piece goes down onto the camshaft. And uh, get it lined up in there. It's a little tight. There we go. Put it in there pretty smooth. And this nut right here adjusts the distance in and out because I believe it has to be a straight line. This this shaft here has to be a straight line up and down because this is all this is all moving parts here. As you see. Oh, that might be in there wrong. Uh, nope, that's in there right. Get it over there in the right direction. Uh, I might need a little bit more room. I might need to push it out a little more because it's a little crooked right here. It's not going straight up and down. 
because what you're going to have is this this piece goes around as you can see as it goes around and it will um it's jamming jamming in there a little bit so I have a lot to learn and a lot to do. This is this is what brings the needle up and down. So as I go through this, I'm kind of learning how this machine works, and uh, and I'll give you an update um, as we get along here. Uh, either some straight photos I've gone through and I've cleaned some of the base plates, base plate the best I could, and getting some of that off of here and getting it to be a little shinier. Um, I'll work on some of the other bigger parts here as I get to them. This is a cover that's going to eventually cover. I'm figuring some of this out here as I go. This covers up uh, this mechanism, this shaft right here. Um, the wheel is a tricky part. I'm not sure how this goes on there. This gear is what's going to go on to the machine somehow. And this, this looks like it's an addition. Most of the machines I'm seeing online don't have this hand crank. Uh, what they have is this piece because there's a belt. There's a belt that goes on here and goes down to a treadle pedal. So you can pedal it. It goes onto a stand and then they can pedal and it'll it'll sew. But um, this is must have been like an addition uh, for making it manual. I would love to make it a manual sewing machine. It's what I really want to do. So I'm still figuring out how this goes. This might be something that adds here. I don't know. <laughs> I'll uh, I'm, I probably got the pieces in here for this and just uh, haven't discovered them yet. So, all right. Well, that's my little update on the 1879 um, um, the oh, National Sewing Machine Company, the B uh, Eldridge sewing machine. And uh, uh, as I get finished with it, or as I get a little bit further along, I'll give you another update. Hey guys, uh, another installment here of the sewing machine uh, puzzle. So I got the, this is the piece I left off with. Got, I just put the base, it actually I'm just sitting on the base, but one of the things that it took me a little while to figure out was how this all worked, but the hand crank, because this was, this was meant to be, this was designed to not have the base and not have the hand crank and you would set this mount this to a table the uh, leather belt would go around this piece right here and then through the table and on the floor and it would be a pedal treadle pedal is what it was called a treadle and you could work it that way or, or you bought it it probably came like this um, so that you could manually uh, run the saw machine so I got the the handle on the base figured out how it all attaches which is really interesting so I've got it separated so this would be how the sewing machine would mount onto a table for your treadle piece and then um, for the treadle piece of it this would be where the um, the belt would go and then this accessory or it either came with this which is fairly simple it just there's a one bolt in the bottom but you fit this right here, if you can see. I'll make this a little easier for you. So this fits inside of these holes that are inside of the wheel, the main wheel here. And you just kind of have to line it up. There we go. Let's see if I got it right. There's, there's three spikes. There we go. So line it up on there, and then there's a bolt. I'll add this bolt when I'm when I'm done kind of playing with it. Add that bolt on the bottom that mounts this thing down. And now you've, we've at least got the power. So this is how the power was energized by this right here. Let me get you a little view of the whole thing working. The, this right here, this little piece, so you can't see it, this little piece up here is where the spool goes. As you can see in my picture, you can see in the background, the spool is on there, but the spool of thread goes on this. This just pulls out, and then the spool goes onto this piece, and then it just pressure fits back in there. And then now I've got to figure out how to thread it. I believe that the thread will come out 
and I believe it comes around this uh, and then there's little loops through here. There's a hole here and a loop here and then it will come down and this arm is where the needle's at. If you'll see it goes up and down. Now I haven't done anything on it. I haven't gotten to this side of it yet. Um, so I'm hoping that Actually, I just got started. I've been actually working on this in one day. I, I get going on these things and it's just really interesting, so I can't give it up. So I got this part done. And uh, next phase, I think I should have it done. Then I have the plate. This is the plate that fits over here uh, where your clothing goes through there. But uh, at this point, this is what I have, what I have so far. And... Uh, I'm kind of cleaning as I go. Um, it, it's got some grease stains that it's just hard to get off. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to touch it. I would. I don't want to go through a hole. I kind of like that patina. If I can get it to work, I want to actually be able to sew something on it um, at some point here. I want to make it actually work like it's supposed to work. So, so far everything's here. I haven't. I'm not missing any pieces, which I was really kind of freaked out about. But I think I'll do. Um, I think it's, it so far it looks like it, I might be good. So, so until the next installment, we'll we'll uh, be sewing something hopefully on the next installment. <laughs>